अथातो जंगम में विश्वविद्यालय यह मध्य कल्पम व्याख्या स्याम है इसको आज बहुत अंदर नंतरी है इधर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर इसे बोल दे जंगम में विषय जंगम से विषय सेक्टर ने अधिष्ठान ने छोड़ दिया समाचार में आया यानी विस्तर हत्या शोक्षे दे तत्र दृष्टि निश्वासा दंस्त्रा नखा मूत्रा पुरीशा शुक्रा लाला आर्तवा मुखा मुखा संदंसा विषय चिता तुंडा स्थि पित्ता शुका शवाली दी दे जंगम में विषय सारे दे पाइजन सब्सटेंसेस प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम एनिमल वरिजिन and these are of 16 types, there are uh, 16 sources of them. And very interestingly, there are two controversial issues, like uh, Sushruta says, drishti, even a vision of a creature, some of the creatures, specific creatures, can produce poisonous effects in the vision by looking at an object. Now this is biologically questionable. From the biology point of view, such a creature is not yet identified. Then Nishwasa, breath as such. Breath also can be poisonous in some animals. Now, of course, this also, from biology point of view, there are no such brood entities, but uh, historically there are certain uh, creatures which are supposed to be like where the breath could be poisonous. Mm, in Egyptian uh, forests, some snakes are believed to be there where the breath could be poisonous. Then the others, of course, Dhanstra, that bites and uh, Nakha nails, Mutra urine or maybe the feces or shukra semen or the saliva or artava that is the menstrual discharges or maybe the discharges from the genital organs or the mukhasandamsha is a very specified organs as the bishari is a platus, tundasi the bones and the pitta that is the bile as such or shuka shava the dead, uh, dead body also can be uh, Arshuka is the hairs of the insects or dead bodies of the insects are also called poisonous. Uh, but uh, the Dhalana commentary has said, Drishti Nishwasa, it is Nishwasa Bhutkara, Vishyajitam Pai Pruta Kutsira Chabda, Platus, is a Vishyajitam, a unique Sanskrit term for the Platus, then Shukam Gita Gomaha, then uh, the dead body of the uh, insects or maybe snakes also could be the poisonous light. That is Drishti Nishwasa Vishaha Dviyaha Sarpaha. Dviyaha Sarpaha, the godly snakes, they are supposed to be so even Sushruta probably might not have seen such uh, creatures where the vision of an uh, animal or uh, an insect or maybe a snake which could be poisonous is not really seen. So Sushruta says Dviyaha, they are godly snakes as such. Then Bhumas to Dabhsta Vishaha, whatever we see here are the Bhuma. Uh, which are seen in this earth, they are Dhamsa Vishaha and uh, examples are Marjara, Shwa, uh, Vanara, Makara, Manduka, Paka, Matsi, Paka Matsya, Godha, Shambuka, Prachalaka, Graha Godika, Chatushvada, Kita Harta, Anya Dhamsa, Nakhvishesha. The, uh, uh, those animals which have the poisonous effects over the Either they are teeth or maybe the nails, they are Marjara, the cats as such, and Shwa, the dogs, certain varieties of the dogs, and Makaraha Jalajantu, that's um, the, um, uh, those animals which live in water. Um, of course, uh, it's a certain, again, according to uh, the Dhalana uh, commentary. Uh, it could be like uh, uh, some insects present in the uh, water as it which grow in water and then uh, manduka frogs different varieties of species of the frogs of course they are well known to be poisonous then matsya fishes gotha lizards sambuka again some wild animals so gotha is a panchanaki pavitra somyakita pratida uh, there again krishna gotha a black colored lizard is supposed to be poisonous then Chatushvara uh, Kita, uh, the other Kitas, which have four legs also, are supposed to be Dhamsana Kvishaha, which can produce a poisonous effect by the teeth, from the teeth or the nails. Then the Shakran Mutra Vishaha, those who have their feces and urine which are poisonous are Chipiti, Pichitika, uh, Kashaya, Vasika, Sarshapaka, 
ತೋಟಕ ವರ್ಚ ಕೀಟ ಕೌಟಿನ್ಯಕಾಹ ಶಕನ್ ಮೂತ್ರಭಿಷಾಹ ಚಿಪಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಿಂಚಿಟ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಸಚ್ ದೆನ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಕಷಾಯವಾಸಿಕ ಸರ್ಷಪಕ ತೋಟಕ ದೀಸ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಸಚ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಶಕನ್ ಮೂತ್ರಭಿಷಾಹ ಮೂಷಿಕ ಶುಕ್ರಭಿಷಾಹ ದಿ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರ್ಯಾಟ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸಿಮೆನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಲೂತಾಹ ಲಾಲ ಮೂತ್ರಪುರೀಶ ಮುಖ ಸಂದಂಶ ನಖ ಶುಕ್ರ ಅರ್ಥವಿಷ ಸ್ಪೈಡರ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೈಡರ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸಲೈವ ದೇರ್ ಯುರಿನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೀಸಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ವೃಶ್ಚಿಕ ವಿಶ್ವಂಬರ ವರಟಿ ಜೀವಮತ್ಸ್ಯ ಉಚ್ಚಿಟಿಂಗ ಸಮುದ್ರ ವೃಶ್ಚಿಕ ಅಷ್ಟ ಆರಭಿಷಾ ಆರ ಈಸ್ ವೃಶ್ಚಿಕ ಲಾಂಗೂಲ ದ ಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಕಾರ್ಪಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಆರ ಸೊ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ದೋಸ್ ಎನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವೃಶ್ಚಿಕ ದ ಸ್ಕಾರ್ಪಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿಶ್ವಂಬರ ವರಟಿ ದೀಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಸಚ್ ದೆನ್ ಚಿತ್ರಶಿರ ಸರಾವ ಕುರ್ದಿಶ ದಾರುಕ ಅರಿಮೇಲಕ ಸಾರಿಕ ಮುಖ ಮುಖ ಸಂದಂಶ ವಿಷರ್ಥಿತ ಮೂತ್ರ ಪುರುಷ ವಿಷಾಹ ದೀಸ್ ಎನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ಬಟ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೇರ್ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವಿನಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾಯ್ಸನ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಓರಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾವಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫ್ಲೇಟರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫೀಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಯೂರಿನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ದೇರ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದೆನ್ ಮಕ್ಷಿಕ ಕಣಭ ಜಲಾಯುಕ ಮುಖ ಸಂದಂಶ ವಿಜಾಹ ಮಕ್ಷಿಕ ದಿ ಫ್ಲೈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಣಭ ದ ಬೀಸ್ ಹನಿ ಬೀಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಲಾಯುಕ ಜಲಾಯು ದಿ ಜಲಾಯು ದಿ ಜಲೋಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೇರ್ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಓರಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಿ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಟೀತ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಸಂದಂಶ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವೀನಲ್ ಕಂಟೆನಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಟ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿಷಾಸ್ತಿ ಸರ್ಪಕಂಟಕ ವರಟಿ ಮತ್ಸ್ಯಾಸ್ಥಿ ಚಿ ಅಸ್ಥಿ ವಿಷಾಣಿ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದೀಸ್ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸ್ ನೌ ಬಟ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ನೇಕ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೇರ್ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಬೋನ್ ಶಕುಲಿ ಮತ್ಸ್ಯ ರಕ್ತರಾಜಿ ವರಟಿ ಮತ್ಸ್ಯ ಅಷ್ಟ ಪಿತ್ತ ವಿಷಾಹ ಫಿಶಸ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫಿಶಸ್ ಶಕುಲಿ ಮತ್ಸ್ಯ ದೇರ್ ಬೈಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೈಲ್ ಹೆಪಾಟೋ ಬೈಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ಸರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ಸಚ್ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಶಸ್ ಫಿಶಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೌ ನೋನ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ತುಂಡ ಉಚ್ಚಿಟಿಂಗ ವರಟಿ ಶತಪದಿ ಶೂಕ ಶೂಕ ವಲಭಿಕ ಶೃಂಗ ಶೃಂಗಿ ಭ್ರಮರ ಶೂಕ ತುಂಡ ವಿಷಾಹ ದಿ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೇರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫೈನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿಚ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಕೀಟ ಸತ್ಪದೇಹ ಗತಾಸವಾಹ ಶವ ವಿಷಾಹ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ನೇಕ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಡೆಡ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ಶೇಷ ಅಸ್ತು ಅನುಕ್ತಃ ಮುಖ ಸಂದಂಶ ವಿಶೇಷ ಗಣೇಶ ಬ್ಯಾಹ ನಾವು ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಎನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಬಯಾಲಜಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವ್ಯೂ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫೈಡ್ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಂಟಮೊಬಿನಾಲಜಿ ಎಂಟಮೊಬಿನಾಲಜಿ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡೀಲ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಮ್ಫುಲ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಓವರ್ ದ
uh, supra orbital above the eyes as in case of the snakes or periorbital or infraorbital that's how it is classified entomology classifies the venomous uh, gland locations based upon these three varieties and it could be anywhere any body secretion could be said as a venomous one whereas poisonous are those uh, animals where the body itself would contain toxins when they are consumed that's certain like uh, variety certain varieties of fishes certain varieties of uh, the animals which otherwise are used as food and there are around 2 lakhs known species of venomous animals at present around 2 lakhs known uh, species of venomous animals are identified and whatever Sushil has given a huge detail uh, it's quite relevant now these two are again classified as a, now, uh, the toxic substances, particularly venomous toxicity. Now, I am not talking about the poisonous contents. Poisonous contents we will deal with later. But venom, venoms which are toxic, they are primarily classified into three categories based upon their harmful effects on the body as neurotoxic, hemotoxic, cytotoxic. Primarily three categories. Of course, in certain of the toxicology books, you may have some more classification like fourth or fifth variety uh, as necrotoxic. Uh, now that neurotoxic is uh, where the toxic effect will be producing damage to the nervous system whereas hemotoxic is uh, the hemolytic pathology uh, or destruction of the blood cells or harm to the blood circulation can occur cytotoxic are uh, those which can be toxic to the tissues uh, which can destroy the tissues now the toxic substances are the venoms they are primarily uh, aimed at three uh, targets by the animals or insects like either predatory predatory is a when a animal has to catch a food or um, consume a food where the food itself is another animal to make that animal either inactive or to uh, kill that animal the toxins could be used so venoms could be used as a predatory for feeding or for the food of that particular animal or the uh, toxins could be used also as a, a defense like when they are attacked when any animal is attacked that animal or insect may be secreting a toxic substance as a defense as such and then there could be a certain of those uh, uh, where it cannot be specified like uh, uh, it, it difficult to specify the secretions could be there and they could be toxic now the major categories biological categories of uh, the animals species which have these snakes uh, poisonous contents toxic contents with the different uh, targets as such they are listed as uh, as such and it involves a huge number of uh, the genera of different animal category almost every genera of the animal category has a certain species which have the toxins and these toxins are uh, metamorphosed they are developed in certain species in due course of time during the development this is basic of the enterohenomology i will not go into these details of these species uh, that's exactly maybe certain uh, a correlative study comparative study of what social has mentioned about the names of the species of those are um, uh, names of those specific insects or uh, as it mentioned in the social compared to the current biology could be a very detailed study which it may not be uh, within the limit of our classes like but it could be a detailed study maybe uh, which has some significance then entomodynamics uh, also suggests about that the different locations of uh, and different types of the venomous glands the venomous glands uh, as in social like it could be like in the tails or it could be in the saliva it could be in the cement similarly the location of the venomous glands at the different areas of the body and their evolution also is a, a one of the major study of the subject and which is studies that biology of these uh, in, uh, uh, venoms and huge details about this venom and their venom evolution is now available and a comparative study of what Sushil has mentioned with this is a, one of the needs of the day uh, which can be done which could be a very important subject in the field of Agadadantra. Uh, so I will not go into that detail now but it could be one of the leading issues. The uh, as, as per the current biology data the most uh, venomous animal in the world is supposed to be a spider species, funnel web spider. 
are the box jellyfish. These are the two most toxic. Where even a few micrograms of that toxic substance could be enough to kill uh, lots of people. As it is claimed, like the uh, one milligram of that uh, spider venom um, is enough to kill around twenty thousand rabbits. This is what um, the is claimed. Like so, very potent poisonous sub uh, substances could be formed in the animals. and they are used either for certain therapeutic uses or they are also used for anti venom formation and as per the biology the current biology the toxic potencies of different animals are studied and they are classified and the around uh, the highest the most venomous animals in the world they are classified as a, or they are named as these 10 species by the national geographic channel now the uh, further भवन्ति छात्र राज्ञो अरिदेशे रिपोवह तृणाम मार्गान्न धूम श्वसनान विषयेन संदूषयन्ति एभि अति प्रदुष्टान विज्ञाय लिंगेहि अभिशोदयत्तान नो शुश द शिफ्ट्स ओवर टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द टॉक्सिकोलॉजी द एंड मेन टारगेट इज टू प्रोटेक्ट द किंग एंड द किंग इज हैविंग अ मोर थ्रेट ऑफ हैविंग कंटामिनेशन विद द पॉइजंस डिफरेंट सॉर्ट्स ऑफ द पॉइजंस आइदर कुड बी ऑफ एनिमल वर्जिन और द अदर वे and the enemies they may administer or they may transmit the poison to the king in different ways like from the environmental factors like the grass around or maybe the water or maybe the air or maybe smoke the any of that different means channels through which the poison could be administered to the king and hence you need to protect that now first is about the water contamination the poison through the water as well as the snake poisons and their snake varieties uh, we will have more details in the next coming chapter next chapter so should reduce a more detail about the snakes and snake poisons sir pavisha is the major chapter there so next is the shift of the subject to the other source or other means of administering the poisonous substances to a king and that the first is about the water water being uh, is a as a medium for transmission of the poisonous substances to the king with a homicidal effect with a homicidal target to kill the king or to harm the king dustam jalam pichitam pichilam ugragandi penanam radibhi avartam cha mandukamasyam riyate vihanga matasya samupajaraha bhamanti madyanti echatra narashunagah te charti moha jaradah shofana now the poisonous contaminated water Uh, their signs how to identify that by physical examination you may identify either the water could be more slimy pichila or ugragandi that could be more smell there could be foamy substances foam uh, as such or there could be multiple colored layers or colored uh, lines could be seen that if color lines could be seen or where the water animals like uh, uh, frogs or uh, fishes they tend to die or even the birds may either they are they may become intoxicated after consuming that water or uh, uh, the specific gravity of the water is more hence animals or maybe human beings who try to swim they tend to float over there or they uh, yeah, they tend to get depressed uh, maybe drown over there uh, or and after consumption it can produce vomiting confusion jwara or temperature this fever or burning sensation or itching such irritations are produced now water contamination signs very classically mentioned in sushula now in such conditions once you have come across that sushula suggests about dut chantitesha mabharti dosha dusham jalam shodhitum meteta dhava ashva karna asana paribhadran sapatalan siddhak moksha gocha दग्धा सराग धूम सोम वर्कांस्तु भस्म शीतम विदरेतु सरस्तु भस्मांजलिं चापि घटे निधाय विशोधयेतु ईप्सितमेवम अंभः वन ऑफ द जनरल मीन्स द यूनिवर्सल मीन्स ऑफ डीकंटामिनेशन आर रिड्यूसिंग द पोल्यूटेड कंटेंट्स ऑफ द वाटर वुड बी हैविंग द एशेस ऑफ दीस डिफरेंट एंड्स द वाशो करने से द एशेस डिप्ड इन वाटर नाउ एशेस देमसेल्स दे आर Or ashes or the carbon, uh, oxidized to carbon, would have a property of absorbent property, a charcoal, universal 
uh, antidote also has a charcoal as a major content. We will be discussing about that universal charcoal in the coming chapter, next chapters as such. Uh, now, uh, that charcoal has a absorbent substance and any charcoal is now sta by standard means used as a, one of the decontaminant, a general contaminant. Decontaminant. Now, Sushruta specifies the uses of the coal of different medicinal plants like Dhava, Shukarna, etc., which have more beneficial effect and when they are mixed with the water or when they are added to the source of water, the toxicity can be reduced and it can be consumable. As far as the current situation, water contamination is a, one of the major issues, though it may not be as mentioned in Switzerland like a, a intentional homicidal purpose meant as to affect the king, but now the issue, situation is uh, different. Is uh, the contamination is due to the industries and maybe the other issues which are related to the administration and the target the in a, a controversial issue the target is a common man. In a Sushruta situation, the king is targeted for the contamination of the water for poisoning. Now the common man is uh, affected by the water poisoning throughout the world. It's a global issue. And the major source is not really the uh, poisonous addition, but most of that industrial pollutions or the pollutions by the human being themselves. So um, it's actually created as such. And uh, the water quality is uh, uh, one of the major burden of international issue. And uh, UNESCO has taken a major issue about that international initiative on water quality. Certain of the facts about the water source now in is quite uh, uh, troublesome or quite hazardous, right? One in nine people in the worldwide use drinking water from unimproved and unsafe sources. So, the drinking water of one in nine people is affected. 2.4 billion people live without any form of sanitation. Lack of sanitation is one of the most significant forms of water pollution. This is what the UNESCO says. But uh, actually, the industrial pollution is much more than the uh, sanitation uh, due to contamination as such. 90% of the sewage in developing countries is discharged and treated directly into the water bodies like rivers and so on. Every day, 2 million tons of sewage and other free and drain into the world's water. Industry discharges an estimated 300 to 400 megatons of waste water into the bodies every year. Non-point source pollution from agriculture and urban areas often uh, 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 generally increases the total pollutant load together with the industrial points source solution. A reduction of about one third of global biodiversity is estimated to be consequence of the degradation of freshwater ecosystems mainly due to the pollution. It is a very uh, dangerous issue. More than one third of the animal species are affected. They are uh, either uh, they have become extinct or they are degraded due to the water sources being affected. And the next turn is about the human being. Reuse of wastewater in agriculture is important for livelihoods, but it is associated with serious health risks. These are the major important facts, uh, highlights of the International Initiative on Water Quality. And uh, it is a very global issue. Lots of research is done, lot of uh, information is there. Now, anyway, I will not go into that part, but uh, those who are interested, they, you have a lot of issues which can be uh, comparatively studied from the Ayurvedic point of view. Now, from uh, Sushruta's point of view, again, we will continue. The water sources could be affected and due to the landscape or uh, the um, uh, uh, type of the soil over the area. And that's Shri Pradesham Shilushitam Jha, Shilatalam Kirtam Atta Erinam Vah, Sprishanti Gatrena Thiyenayana, Govaji Naga Ustra Kharaha Narava, Prachunatam Yati Atadarshya Reta, Shiri Reo Manakham Tadeva, Tatrapi, Anantam, Sahasarvagandi, Hippistwa, Surabhi, Vinyaji Margam, Sinche, Payopi, Sumrudan, Anate Hitam, Viranga Patha, Katabi, Jalewa. Now, there could be certain situations where the poisonous substances in the water can produce the symptoms like swelling or burning sensation or the nails or hairs becoming brittle and then sloughing off of different uh, species, either it could be human beings or it could be cows or maybe the uh, horses or maybe uh, the uh, uh, ushtrakhara uh, camels or the donkeys of different animals. Uh, it could be due to either direct contact with the water 
or it could be due to the uh, uh, backing or maybe coming into contact with the soil or uh, maybe in the pathway where the water has flown or it could be like the sand which has come into contact with the water can produce these irritations now in such conditions the main primary treatment is a तत्र अनंता सर्गंधि पिष्टासुरा विनियोज्य मार्ग नाम सच ए एरिया वेर दर् इज ए कंटामेशन कैन बी डी कंटामेटेड बै एप्लाइंग अनंता और दट सारीवा एंड अदर गंध द्रव्य कैन बी अप्लाइड ओवर द एरिया ऐदर ओवर द एरिया वेर दर् इज ए कंटामेशन और ओवर द पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी वेर दर् इज ए कंटामेशन एंड यू हव टू वाट वाश द एरिया ऑफ कंटैक्ट ऑफ द बॉडी विद soft water as such which is uh, having processed with vidanga patha katabi etc trineshu bhakteshu cha dushileshu sidanti murchanti vamanti janne virbheda murchanti atho amriyante tesham chikitsyam pranayeta yathoktam vishapaheiva api agadehi vilpya vadyan chitrani api vadayeta taraha sutaraha surendra gopaha sarveshya tulleha kurvinda bhagah pittena yuktah kapilanvayena vadya pralepo vihita prashasah वाद्यस्य शब्दे नहीं यान के नाशम विषाणी घोराण्य पे आने सकते। Now if in the surrounding area the grasses or the plants are contaminated with the poison, somebody has sprayed the poison over that. In such conditions, by coming into contact with that grass or maybe the plants, some may be become unconscious or some may be vomit out, some may just get depressed or they may have diarrhea. or uh, uh, some may even die it depends upon the type of the poison as such now these days you can have these kinds of situations when insecticides are sprayed over the plantations you know in the present day situation like endoxan and so on in insecticides sprayed over the plants uh, is a very regular practice in agriculture now and that itself can produce the same symptoms in sushra spirit this kind of a situation has done with the intention of harming someone now the situation is a uh, totally different now to de- decontaminate that environment the one of the important means of doing that would be spraying certain of the agad dravyas the po- uh, non poisonous substances over the area through certain musical instruments it's a very interesting issue very interesting issue like uh, you may apply these uh, uh, agadas over to the musical instruments like a drum or so on and then you beat now when you beat that drum uh, there due to the vibrations fine vibrations fine particles of that agada medicine would be sprayed over in the environment they uh, they get vaporized and maybe very small molecules or particles of that substance would be present in the environment and that produces a spray so a technique of spray without any of this uh, you are spraying instrument now you have lots of sprayers different sorts of sprayers where the uh, fine particles of that substance could be sprayed over the area in the environment whereas sushrutas technique could be you have to apply it over the different musical instruments and beat that musical instruments that that vibration would produce the fine particles and that part, these particles will be covering that area where there is a huge area where there is a poisonous contamination and that it can be used as a decontamination dume anire ba vishasam prite khaga ha samarta ha prabandhi bhumo kasa pratishaya shirodu jascha bhavanti tivra ha nayana mayascha laksha haridra ati visha abhaya abda harenu ayil ela dala vakra kushtam priyam kamcha pranale nidhaya dhuma nilau chapi vishodheta now if the air is contaminated or the smoke is contaminated which is some break the matter are air uh, poisonous substances in the air or the smoke then the birds which are flying through the area they may become either excited too much and they fall on the land or the human beings may have cough or uh, irritation in the nose or a headache or even the eye disorders diseases of eyes to could occur now in the present day situation you have a means of assessing that air contamination by the air quality index i think everyone needs known uh, knowing about that air quality index in delhi now has become a major news issue every day when you open the tv you will have that news about the air quality index i am not going much of that and the means of decontamination of this mentioned in sushra is a 
you burn the substances laksha haridhatim shad these substances are a burnt and their smoke itself the smoke of these substances itself would be producing the decontamination acid now as far as the means of uh, uh, improving their quality lots of techniques are being used and none of the techniques are successful and uh, i to go into that subject itself is a quite vast subject uh, I, i think uh, it may not be possible to deal with all that issue uh, but you may be aware of that Uh, lots of uh, techniques are used as such. Then prajami mam atma yone he brahmana srijata kila akarod asurod bignam kaita bho nama darpida tasya kudasya vakta brahmana stage so nidhe he krodo vigrahvan bhutva nipapata atidarana satam dadaha gardyantam antaka bham mahabalam tato asuram ghata itva tatejo avarthata adbhutam tato vishado deva nama bhavattam nirikshavai विषाद जननत्वाद्यादीयतेजा प्रजाशेषम तदा क्रोधमीश्वर विनस्तवान्न स भूतेषु स्थापनेषु चरेश देर वॉज ए प्रोबली इन द क्लास रूम देर वॉज ए क्वेश्चन लाइक हाउ दीज विषा आर द पॉइन सब्सटेंस वेर जनरेटेड इन द नेचर नौ एज फर द करेन्ट सिचुएशन करेन्ट बयालजी द पॉइन आर वन ऑफ द सैंस ऑफ मेटामोसि इवल्यूशन इन डिफरेन्ट एनिमल्स and the animal categories are now categorized animals are categorized as a a metabolic or a hypometabolic or a hypermetabolic like where there will be a metamorphosis metamorphosis of the insects two poisonous substances is considered as a sign of evolution where to make them fit survive survive and for the survival of the fittest it is considered whereas according to sushruta or according to our indian philosophy the it occur during the course of evolution or uh, creation by brahma when the brahma created world he created the uh, uh, demons also uh, asuras uh, uh, and among them asura kaitaba is one of the asura or uh, demon who had come out from the world, uh, mouth of the brahma and uh, the anger itself the anger of that uh, demon itself was very severe and he tried to hurt the brahma himself his creator himself and then to suppress that to harm or to control him brahma created a substance which is called uh, considered as a visha now brahma became depressed the vishada the god became depressed due to the uh, Um, the behavior of his creation like the kaitaba and that vishada that um, sorrow feeling of the god itself created the poisonous substance and hence it is called as vishada vishada janana prata vishamitte bhiyate because it is produced by the vishada or the depression or maybe the sorrow of the god is called as vishada now this vishaya was uh, consider uh, spread out throughout the world in different areas and that's how the vishas are present poisons are produced at in the savar and jangam uh, this is a story which is mentioned in sushruta which has a lot of comparison comparable facts with the, the current situation of uh, the pollutions uh, the creation of the brahma himself would be harming the nature so nature's creation himself itself harming the nature and the nature reacting in a poisonous way that's exactly the basic principle of what we are suffering due to the pollution we are going against the creation nature and that itself is resulting in the different sources of the pollution so that story are uh, need not be considered as a simple epic story it's a moral story moral fact as such यथा अवेतर सोयम अंतरक्षा मही गतम तेषु तेषु प्रदेश रसम तम तम नियति विषम यद द्रव्यम व्याप्य अवतिष्य स्वभाव देवत रसम समन वर्त है नौ दिस पॉइसन सब्सटेंस विच इज स्प्रेड अरउंड दूनिवर्स इट गेट्स एडेड टू द फुड सब्सटेंस विच आर कंज्यूम एंड इट एफेक्ट द क्वालिटी ऑफ द फुड सब्सटेंस एंड दैट्स हाउ the poisons are getting distributed into the whole universe and affects everyone in the universe now that's exactly the situation now the pollution would be affecting the food and affecting the growth of every species as such so lot of comparison issues uh, and lot of issues which are very relevant from that point of view vishe smart guna sarve tikshna prayana sandhi 
विषम सर्वमतो ज्ञेयम सर्वदोष प्रकोपणम तेतु वृत्तिम प्रकोपिता जहति स्वाम विषाद्रिता नोपयाति विषम पाकम अत प्राणान ऋणधित श्लेष्मण आवृतमार्गत्वात उच्छ्वासो अस्य निरुद्धते विसर्ज्ञ सति जीवेति जीवेति तस्मात् तिष्ठति मानवः द जनरल फिजियोलॉजिकल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ द पॉइजन इज बिकॉज़ द पॉइजन हैज ए वेरी तीक्ष्ण गुण and it cannot be digested it cannot be homogeneous by the body very important issue from biology point of view again any of the substance which can be metabolized which can be transformed may not have the toxic effect when it is not possible to be transformed or even after the transformation toxic effect is certain maintained in certain of the substances then only it can produce a poisonous effect and majority of the um, pharmacological drugs which we use in the contemporary system they are their molecules are formed in such a way that they are not metabolized or they uh, me- are metabolized after they have produced their effect in the body and hence any of the medicine can be even in a irre- in a relevant uh, maybe in a different manner may be considered as a poisonous it can be poisonous that's why you have the toxic effects of the drugs mentioned anyway the uh, biochemistry of the poison mentioned in sushuta is very factual like because they do not undergo the paka in the body no payati visham pakam asa prana runa bhija because it doesn't undergo the paka the substance cannot get metabolized in the body it can harm the physiology and the physiology would be it blocks the channels stressana artha marga dwara uh it blocks the respiration there will be respiratory depression which can occur and hence the patient may have the fatal complications it can affect the vital functions of the body as such shukravat sarva sarpanam visham sarva shariram krudhanam yeti charge bhya shukram nirmanthana diva tesham badishavardham saha tasu srijati jagatam anukrutta visham tasmat namun jati cha bhoginah with the sarpas snakes the snakes they have the visha through the body and when they become angry all that visha which is present in the body would be excreted out from the body and sushra compares it to the semen discharge in the human beings now shukra uh, semen according to ayurvedic practice shukra is present through the body and during that sexual uh, uh, copulation it gets excreted from the body in the physical form and similarly the visha virya present in the snakes would be present throughout the body and when it bites the all that visha would be coming out as such now this is a controversial issue uh, even for the semen from the biology point of view we have a specified semen containing organs and the semen is sore and then it is ejaculated similarly with the poison the specific organ system the uh, uh, sacs which contain the poison or the venoms they are now identified and they are well known and it is a biological identity the only issue is about uh, there so that part is controversial the only issue is about that uh, the generalized or uh, uh, whole systemic uh, uh, presence of that poisonous substance or presence of uh, the shukra is a controversial issue uh, so we will not go into that controversy we have discussed about this controversy earlier also in some other context now uh, uh, hence the first bite the important is the first bite of the snake would have more poisonous when the consequent bites would have lesser poisonous effect because already the vishas the poisons have come up this is the logic behind this theory that that fact is true esmad atyastam mushtam tishtam te patitam visham ata sarva vishesh utta parichay kasya shitalah mandam kiteshu natyashnam bahuata kapam visham ata kite vishesh api svedona pratishyate kite is the stan ugra vishesh sarpavar samupajareta now the protocol of treating the vishas in general because all the vishas are in general ushna and tikshna application of a cold substance is a, a, a general line of treatment but with certain small insects like ants or uh, the bees etc because it contains water and copper warm application also is not contraindicated whereas in snake poisons warm application is contraindicated it should be the cold whereas uh, the insect bites and so on which produce the local irritation the warm is uh, applied application of warm is uh, suggested and uh, the uh, even in the keetas in the insects if there are very serious poisonous they have to be treated as in case of the snake poison as such 
ಸ್ವಭಾವದೇವಧಿಷ್ಠೇತ ಪ್ರಹಾರ ಅಂಶಯೋ ವಿಷಂ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ಯ ಸಾವಯವಂ ದೇಹಂ ಬಿದ್ದ ಬಿದ್ದ ಅಹಿದೃಷ್ಟೆಯೋ ಲೌರ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿಷಾನ್ವಿತ ಮಾಂಸಂ ಚ ಯಖಾದೇ ಮೃತಮಾತ್ರೆಯೋ ಯಥಾ ವಿಷಂ ಸರೋಗೇಣ ಕೃಷ್ಯತೆ ಮಿಹಿತೆ ಅದಶ್ಚಾಪಿ ಅನಯೋ ಮಾಂಸಂ ಅಭಕ್ಷ್ಯ ಮೃತಮಾತ್ರೆಯೋ ಮುಹೂರ್ತ ತದುಪಾದೇಯಂ ಪ್ರಹಾರ ಅಂಶವರ್ಜಿತ ಈವನ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಸ್ನೇಕ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬೈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಎನಿಮಲ್ ದಿ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಔಟ್ ದಿ ಆಲ್ ದ ಆರ್ಗನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಎನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಸಂಬಡಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಫ್ಲೆಶ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಎನಿಮಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಡೈಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಡೈಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಓವರ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದಟ್ ಫ್ಲೆಶ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಎನಿಮಲ್ uh were uh, as well are uh, converted into food now even if uh, the animal is not dead due to the poison if the animal has been bitten by a snake then susan says you have to wait for at least one more tokala then till that animal may be consumed as a food to reduce the possibility of a poisonous effect on the body if the animal dies due to the poisonous contaminant it should never be eaten if the animal has survived even after the snake bite you are not supposed to use that animal for the food uh, but at least next to one whole total 145 minutes you may after that you, if the animal still survives then it may be used for the food then sabatam grahadum abam purisham yo atisadite atma to atyartha musna so vivarna sadapidah udvamati athaphenam te vishapitam tamadishet ನ ಚ ಅಸ್ಯ ಹೃದಯಂ ವನ್ಯ ವಿಷದಿಷ್ಟಂ ಬಹತ್ಯತಿ ತಂದಿ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಚೇತನಾಯ ಸ್ವಭಾವ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ಯತಿಷ್ಠತಿ ಅಶ್ವತ್ಥ ದೇವಾಯತನ ಸ್ಮಶಾನ ವಲ್ಮೀಕ ಸಂಧ್ಯಾಸು ಚತುಷ್ಪದೇಶು ಯಾಮೇ ಸತಿಕ್ರಿಯೆ ಪರಿವರ್ಜನೀಯ ಋಕ್ಷೇ ನರ ಮರ್ಮಸಿ ಯಜದಷ್ಟ ದ ಜನರಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಟನ್ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಪಾಯ್ಸನಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ರೀಚರ್ ಐದರ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ನೇಕ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಜನರಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ದಿ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಮೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಯರಿಯಾ the whole body pair become blue or grayish color either whole body or it could be the feces which become grayish color and the patient may have diarrhea grayish that sign of bleeding in the gastrointestinal tract that sign of the hematoxic uh, poisonous like and uh, the patient may have pain throughout or maybe there could be a foamy discharges ugmati a foamy discharges from the oral cavity and it depresses the heart as well as the respiration that's what we see in the neurotoxic conditions uh, so the signs of either neurotoxicity or hematoxicity are seen of course more detail about the neurotoxic and hematoxic signs we will discuss in the next chapter when we discuss about the snakes in the next chapter then uh, because it heart affects the heart it, it can become poison uh, fatal as well now susan says the prediction of prognosis the prognosis of a snake bite also would be depending upon the location where the bite has occurred if the location of the bite has occurred near a ashwatthama plant or in a temple or in a smashana or very close to a pond or when it occurs in the evening hours or of the uh, either early morning or in the evening hours or when it occurs at the areas where the four lanes are uniting together or in the yamya or pitriya muhurta yamya muhurta is a midnight pitriya muhurta is a the midday if it occurs then all the persons who are bitten on the marmasthana they are incurable and there will be always a, a fatal complication darvi karana mishamashghati sarvadi chura kushne viguni bhavanti adirna pitta ಆತಪ ಪೀಡಿತೇಶು ಬಾಲ ಪ್ರಮೇಶು ಅತಗರ್ಭಿಣೇಶು ವೃದ್ಧಾತುರ ಕ್ಷೀಣ ಬುಭುಕ್ಷಿತೇಶು ವೃಕ್ಷೇಶು ಭೀರುಷು ಅತ ದುರ್ಗಿಣೇಶು ದ ಕಾನ್ಸಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಯ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಡಿಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಟರ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ದ ಪಾಯ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಇಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಲೆಸರ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಧೀರ್ನ ಆರ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೋಸ್ ಟು ದ ಸನ್ಲೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಡ್ಯೂರೇಷನ್ if the patient is pramehi if he has pramaha or if the patient is pregnant very young patients or very old patients or if the patient is uh, emaciated due to some other disease if the patient is hungry if the patient is already afraid of the issues then the patient the or uh, in a cloudy day the prognosis can be poor shastrakshate yasya naraktam eti rajyo lata bhishan sambhavanti shita bhishan rao maharsho vishabhutam parivarjayantam the other signs are 
if there is no bleeding if you cut the area of the body if there is no bleeding that is a, a complete clotting has occurred or the patient may not have that eruptions or rashes produced over the body by tying or maybe applying some force over the area that is exactly the sign of a coagulation peripheral coagulation or if the patient does not sense the cold water or applied over the body that is a sign of incurable you are not supposed to cure that or that is the signs of incurable status of the poisonous effects as such. Again, this is a typical sign in a hematoxic condition where the peripheral coagulation would occur. Jihva Sita Yasita Kesha Shadaha Nasa Bhangasya Sakantha Bhangaha Krishnaha Saraktaha Shvetu Shidam Shaya Hanoho Sthiratvamita Sajabarjaniya If the patient's tongue becomes pale and whitish or there is a hair loss or the nose has become curled or the nose has become shrunken or the neck has become fall and uh, cannot be ir kept erect as such and the blood becomes blackish in color and there could be a swelling, huge swelling at the area or maybe at the hanu area, at the uh, neck area that is uh, also considered as virginia. This is very typical in case of uh, uh, acute anaphylactic conditions or uh, angioneuritic edema condition. Angioneuritic edema producing the respiratory obstruction there would be a swelling in the face and the neck and the, uh, these uh, pallor seen in the face also could be the sign. So patients who may have a hypersensitive reaction resulting in an acute angioneuritic edema and laryngeal edema also are considered as incredible by sociology. Now of course we have some solutions to treat that condition. Vartir Ghana is an irate bhakta raktam savet urtham madhas chesya tamsha nipata ha sakalas chesya tamcha kvaitya paribarje tam if the patient would have a tongue which is protruded out from the mouth like a simple beak like where the tongue does not move but it is protruded out of the mouth and there would be discharges from the eyes, nose and the mouth also and the teeth become fallen that also is a sign of incurable condition. Unmattam, Athyartam, Padrukam, Hinasuram, Apephava, Athava, Vibaranam Sarishtam Atyartam Abheginam Chadishyat Naram Tatra Nakarma Kuriyata If the patient is behaving in an abnormal manner or if the voice has become very weak as such or if the patient is fully discolored or any arista lakshanas are seen, such conditions are incredible. Now as far as the toxicology is concerned, now as far as the venoms and the venom uses, the venoms are being used as anti-venom therapy. Now in the present day situation, Whenever there is a snake poisoning, the main treatment is antivenom. That idea of antivenom therapy has become evolved now very recently, and antivenoms are considered to be life savers. And uh, the safety of that antivenom therapy has been increased, and there is a huge milestone development in the development of these antivenoms of different species of animals. And I am not going into much details, I am just suggesting about the timeline, like where how the evol evolution has occurred and from the current point of view the market says the global market of antivenom market antivenom now are used both for poisonings as well as it are they are also used for the treatment of certain of the diseases also and as for the prediction of the market analysis is one of the huge market which is developing so with that we will conclude we will not go much detail about that other part now, other issues about the toxicology we will discuss in the coming chapters as such. With this, we will conclude today. It is Sushu Samhita and Kalpasthane, Jangam Yashibhijjani Yonama, Tritiya Vajjhaya. If there are any questions, we will try to answer and then we end up. Right, there are no questions. So, we will wind up today. Thank you.